Hi everyone, this is Dr. K. Uh, I wanted to make another video today. I wanted to briefly talk about uh, stomach acid and how it's important uh, in terms of immunity. Um, so um, a lot of people are on uh, medications like Prilosec or other acid suppressing medications. Uh, from what I heard, uh, like more than 40% or around 50% of people are on taking some of those medications to st suppress the stomach acid. So the problem with suppressing stomach acid is when your stomach acid is suppressed and uh, whatever you inhale or whatever food you eat, the bacteria, viruses, and everything goes through the stomach without getting killed. So it, it, uh, it then acts on the intestine and uh, it can cause an infection. So what are some ways to improve the stomach acid? Um, so um, for, for example, if you're not on one of these medications and let's say you have low stomach acid, you may experience symptoms like uh, cramping, symptoms like heartburn, symptoms like bloating right after eating food. Uh, you may have constipation or diarrhea. You may have a lot of nausea. So a lot of uh, 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 GI um, uh, symptoms. So what are some ways to improve the stomach acid? So the main thing is to chew the food. So chewing food starts with the mouth. Uh, most of people tend to swallow the food uh, rather than chewing it a lot. So you have to chew it as much as possible. The saliva has enzymes like amylase and so forth. And uh, try to eat it slowly and try to eat mindfully. The next step is to eat less processed food. Like a lot of people eat sugar or white bread and so forth. And that really doesn't help the stomach acid situation. It can create a milieu where you'll have more infections in the gut. So, um, it also causes inflammation in the stomach and the uh, intestine. So you want to cut down on the processed foods. Uh, try to eat more fresh foods um, like fruits and vegetables and so forth. The next step is to eat uh, fermented vegetables. I'm really big on eating fermented vegetables, something like kimchi, uh, sauerkraut or pickles. Uh, there's something called uh, rotabuga. So all of these vegetables, they have uh, the bacteria that are grown in them. Those bacteria will uh, supplement the bacteria in your gut if, it, if you don't have enough. And that really heals the gut if there's inflammation. So fermenter vegetables are very important. If you don't have access to this or if you don't feel like eating them, then you have to take a prescription probiotic. So um, the other thing you can do is uh, drink apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is a fermented liquid you can buy it in the store. Uh, when you uh, supplement with apple cider vinegar, it improves the acid content in the stomach. So uh, some of my clients use that. Also, uh, if you're in, into ginger, and if you are able to eat ginger, you can add, uh, you can cut ginger, you can grate it, or uh, there's several ways of preparing ginger. And you can add ginger into the food, or you can eat it uh, uh, raw as such. That also improves the stomach acid contents. By using all of these strategies, um, you're improving the stomach acid content, so your chance of acquiring the COVID-19 go down because, uh, you know, if you, uh, if you get it uh, from the gut, then the, the chances are the acid will kill the virus. So I want to briefly share that. Um, it's, uh, uh, whether, whether we talk about COVID-19 or not, uh, having enough stomach acid is very important for gut health uh, and also for immunity in the body. So, um, so I wanted to briefly share that with you. Um, uh, and then the other main thing is I also talk about emotional stress. So if you're under a lot of emotional stress, your stomach acid is suppressed. So things like meditation, yoga, and so forth. Um, so comment below if you're interested in uh, doing a live meditation. I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to gauge from my audience on how much interest there is. And uh, there's enough interest I, I plan to do um, maybe through Facebook Live, through do a uh, live meditation, maybe 10, 15 minutes. So um, so feel free to comment below. Um, and also, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, news as it's coming along. Uh, there are not many cases in Florida yet. Uh, there are not many deaths. So uh, I don't think it has reached the peak in Florida. Uh, from what I heard, there's, uh, there's a big peak in uh, New York City. So that seems to be the, uh, the area that is hardest hit. Um, so, um, if you're in New York City, I wish you, uh, wish you well. Uh, we're trying to contact some of the doctors over there, trying to see if, uh, if there are ways to help. Uh, I've talked to some of my friends here, and uh, 
they are interested in going there in person, see if they can, uh, they can do some things. Uh, I also uh, want to offer some of the treatments that, uh, like the infusions or IV treatments that we offer here in Florida, see if we can offer them in New York City. Uh, so logistics are challenging, so, uh, so we're working on that. So as always, uh, thanks for listening to my, uh, uh, my videos. So um, I look forward to engaging with you further. Uh, uh, I'm always available. I can DM me or you can, uh, you can call the clinic. Um, I'm available for consultation. So look forward to talking to you all. I'm hoping uh, your weekend was good. Um, try to stay sane and be calm and uh, healthy. Okay, bye.